people say he ain't no good And I'm crazy as a loon Cause I shave my head in the morning And pick guitar in the afternoon Just like old Chief and Charlie I like to lay around in the shade well, I ain't got no money But you better believe I got it made Cause I ain't asking nobody for nothing If I can't get it on my own If you don't like the way I'm living Just leave this bald-headed country boy alone What's up, folks? Let me tell you about our Mark sponsors. Let's kick it off with Blake Flewellen with Flewellen's Performance and Electronics Off-Road, based out of Macon, Georgia. My dude does custom fabrications, builds, and audio installs, wheels, lifts, and tires. A dealer for all major brands like Wet Sound, Super ATV, High Lifter. If you can name it, he can get it. He offers in-house financing and afterpay. And check this out. If you use the discount code TERRY10, you'll get 10% off with my boy. So email him now at sales at fpeoffroad.store or call him 478-747-2830. Or go follow him on Facebook at FPE off road and make sure y'all use that discount code Terry 10 for 10% off. Check them out now. That's Fluellen's Performance and Electronics Off Road. This next one sure is cute and sweet. I'm going to tell you about Marcy's Sparkling Ladies. Just recently, my daughter and her mother went to go see my buddy Marcy, and she does this thing called permanent jewelry. And what they do is they pick out necklaces, whatever it is, bracelets, anklets, all this kind of stuff. And what they do is they weld it to where it's hard to come off. And it's supposed to be like this permanent, meaningful piece of jewelry between two people. It's the perfect Mother's Day present or anything like that. I'm telling you, it is adorable. Y'all please go look her up now and look at all that she offers. So go check her out now on Instagram and Facebook at Marcy's Sparkling Ladies. And don't miss out. She does pop-up events, and her next one coming up is March the 11th in Lizella, Georgia. Look on her Instagram and Facebook to find out exactly where. Go check her out now. That's Marcy's Sparkling Ladies. Y'all want to know who takes all my professional pictures and some of our videos around here, Miss Kelly Leverett. She has a company called Kelly Leverett Photos and Film. She specializes in all things photography and videotography. She even does those badass boudoir shoots or whatever you want to call them. Literally, whatever you need done as far as video or pictures goes, she can knock them out. I've seen some of the stuff she does for weddings, and I know the stuff that she does for us here. And let me tell you, she does an amazing job. We're actually going to have them on the show later this month, so you'll get to hear more about them. So what I need you guys to do is to go look them up now on Facebook at Kelly Leverett Photos and Film, LLC. Phone number is 478-414-8387. Call, make an appointment today, and I promise you, you will not be disappointed. You need some construction work done to your house. I got just the guy for you. I need y'all to go check out Dennis Farmer with C. Martin Construction. They've been in business for a long time now. They do everything from demolition to pond digging, grading, clearing, everything. This guy is my dude. He's a good old boy. So give him a call now at 478-283-1246. That's C. Martin Construction in South Georgia. Let me tell you about my girl, Miss Erica with Crooked W Consulting. She has a small marketing and design agency out of North Carolina. She offers small, affordable business solutions that tailor your business and startups nationwide. She's currently doing my new website. I'm telling you folks, you need to let her do yours. She's doing us a jam-up job. She also offers digital marketing, graphic design, and social 
Media Management. If I'm using her here at the studio, there ain't no reason why your small business shouldn't. Look her up on Facebook and Instagram at Crooked W Consulting or text her now at 919-351-2084. Crooked W Consulting. Hit up Miss Erica now. You won't be disappointed. Let's give a quick shout out to Nobles Networking. Guys, if you're looking for a new internet provider, they hook me up here at the studio and at my house. If you live out in the country and you can't find nowhere else where to get your internet or you're paying too much for Hargrave or any of that other shit, look up Nobles Networking. 478-308-0596. You are going to love it. I'm telling you, it works great for me. It runs everything here at the studio at my house perfectly. Hit up Nobles Networking. Let me tell you guys about the baddest insurance agent around these parts, Miss Jenna Carr. She's an alpha insurance agent. She handles home, auto, life, and business. She's located in Macon, Georgia at 3312 Northside Drive, Suite C-160. Uh, let me tell you about Miss Jenna. Not only is she just the sweetest, cutest damn thing you ever seen, but she takes care of business like a true professional. I love dealing with her. Uh, she's done got me hooked up with life insurance because let's be honest, I'm going to need it. And uh, every time I've ever dealt with her, a complete pleasure. So y'all do me a favor now. Give her a call and go look her up on social media. Jenna Carr, Alpha Insurance Agency. And that phone number in Macon is 478 478- Six two one seven zero six five. Tell her that you need the same package, home, life, auto, all that good stuff that she hooked me up with. Let me tell you about Lori's Dive In in Alamo, Georgia. I ran her ad several times now. She's been with me since I started doing this stuff. Even if it's not convenient for you, take some time, go out of your way, and go eat there. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. She takes pride in her staff, her food, her service, every single aspect. So please go check out Lori's Dive In in Alamo, Georgia at 18 Commerce Street, Alamo, Georgia. Phone number there is 912-568-1945. Lori's Dive In. If you've seen me wearing hats lately that's got D-Y-H on it, it stands for Down Yonder Hat Co. Seth Baysmore, a buddy of mine, he owns that company, and he has sent me some of their hats. Let me tell you, I love them. I've worn them in a lot of my stuff lately, and I plan on wearing them a lot more. I've showed them to some of my friends. He has a startup business, and I'm telling you guys, you would absolutely love them. So do me a favor. Go right now to his Instagram at Down Yonder Hat Co. Check them out. They also have a website, downyonderhatco.com. Order some stuff from them and tag them on Instagram. And when you do, make sure when you make the post, you say that you heard about the hats and down yonder right here on the Josh Terry podcast. Now, let's get to the show. Thank y'all for tuning into the Josh Terry podcast. Uh, today with me, you guys are going to get to uh, <laughs> laugh your ass off for the next little bit. I got Miss Mary... From all the way from California, Hello. Uh, uh, from Buckaroo Tattoo, who was a sponsor of the show last week, or last month, and uh, is going to be a permanent sponsor on the show for a while, trying to put up my ass for the past <laughs> three days. Uh, she's already done an extremely badass Keith Whitley tattoo that uh, she fought me on because of the hair on the bird, and you guys are going to get to hear the process for the next uh, little bit. And uh, you're actually going to get to hear some of the tattoo process of the George Jones tattoo I'm about to get. And right now we're arguing back and forth on how you put fucking <laughs> hair on a possum. Uh, just thank you for, uh, first off, thank you for coming uh, all the way from California to do this and uh, being a good sport about it. <laughs> uh, yeah, this bob is going to look interesting. I think it's going to look good. Hey. You, you also didn't, thought the curls were gonna look good. The curls those look still good. Look weird to me. The curls do not look weird. They do, you, do. you have to fucking know what it is. For, for y'all who haven't seen the picture, <laughs> please go to uh, my Instagram and tell them your Instagram and your uh, 
TikTok and all that stuff real quick. My Instagram is Buckaroo, T-A-T, the number two. So Buckaroo Tattoo. And my TikTok is Tattooed, or Mama Tattooer. She is a badass, y'all. Uh, I have had to give her what's the image in my head, which is not very good. Um, and she has took it and she's made art out of it. She is literally, while I'm sitting here watching her, she's turning a possum into art. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's good. But for those who don't know, Keith Whitley had amazing hair. And he's also called the Kentucky Bluebird. Well, I wanted a Kentucky Bluebird, and I wanted it to be playing one of his signature guitars. She murdered that. I also wanted to be wearing one of his jackets with the fringe, uh, tassels, mm -hmm. and the glitter on it. She murdered that. And then it got to its head. And she was like, I don't want to put these fucking curls on this bird because <laughs> the bird looks so good. Everything else looks amazing. I really murdered this. And I was like, no, you don't get it. It's fucking Keith Whitley as a bird. It has to have the curls. It could have went without it, and they still would have got it. No, they wouldn't. No, they wouldn't. Just it, wrote Keith Whitley next to it. <laughs> I didn't want it. I wanted it to be where the people who get it get it. And the people who don't, they don't. They obviously don't listen You're to Keith right. Whitley. It's funny. It's funny now that you see it. Because and pe this is gonna look just as funny with this bob haircut on it. They're gonna understand. <laughs> the people are going to understand. The people that are supposed to understand are gonna get it. But you're going to have some people like, why the fuck does that possum have a bob haircut? Mm -hmm. But you know what? It's not meant for them. And sideburns. And sideburns. It's not meant for them. You know who it's meant for? You. Me and my friends who like George it's Jones. It's definitely one of a kind. I'll give you that. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Who else has a Kentucky blue bird with curls <laughs> and a no possum one. with a bob? No one. It's uniqueness. I'm unique. Mm. Uh... The microphone. Yeah, oh yeah, I send you the picture of the microphone. So, uh, this has just been a whole... But if you're wondering why she's kind of dragging ass to talking so much, she went out drinking with me <laughs> last night. And uh, let's just say another victim. There's I another, drank too much. Yeah. We were supposed to do this like all day today. And uh, I think we've napped more <laughs> today than we've done anything. We did that yesterday too. Uh, I've never met someone who's napped so much, by the way. I'm a napper. He's definitely a napper. So it's not all me and my hangover. He actually napped today for a very long time. I like napping. I don't know how else to tell you that. It I, may, it I may, was not against it today. I'll tell you that. Well, you were dying this morning. <laughs> You're already thrown up at uh, the hibachi place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I just told him you threw up at the hibachi place. <laughs> I did. Yep. I would not have survived staring at that counter of seafood during lunch if I did not go empty my stomach. That is funny to me. It was not the best choice of food for being hungover. I'm going to say that. I thought rice was good. My sushi was amazing. Rice was good, but the smell of sushi and fish is not when you're hungover. Did, did, I liked it. Because <laughs> you weren't hungover. I have yet to be hungover today. <laughs> I'm surprised. Very, very surprised. I feel better now. I'm rejuvenated. Uh, tell them real fast where all they can, like, uh, I know you already dropped your social media stuff and your tattoo shop is Buckaroo Tattoo. Tell them where you're located and all that kind of stuff. And they wanted to book an appointment and, uh, cause then once they see the stuff you've done on me, they're going to want to book an appointment. Um, the easiest way is through Instagram, but my shop is located in Wheatland, California. But after being here and looking at Josh's lovely studio space that he doesn't utilize, if I can get enough appointments this way, I'd be more than happy to fly out every now and then we for a weekend and then work weekends here. Yeah. And we'll and see, save I, everybody else a flight. Yeah, I'll just turn uh just turn the whole studio over to you. Yeah. You can just I have, wasn't gonna ask you, I, I know just you taking were, it over. <laughs> I told you, as long as you're fucking tattooing me, we're we're good. We're good. Yeah, as I'll just a take fair it over. as a fair trade. We can make one of those rooms by Air Buckaroo point two or two point oh. I don't need a lot of space, so yes, one of those rooms would be perfect. Well, I'd love to come down every now and then. Well, I'm glad you work. don't don't need a lot of space because you're definitely not getting the adult room. You get, you got to go back there where the kids play. No, y'all can come up here because I probably want to hang out the whole time too. <laughs> and I'd be like that, uh, you know, whatever. Even if they was getting like a Jesus tattoo, I'd be like, you know what it needs? Curls. Curls. Put curls on Jesus. Or a bob. A bob. Yeah. Or sunglasses. I'm telling you. 
it, something else weird. Okay. It looks cool. Do you want this shirt? Do or want do you want a shirt? different style shirt? Uh, what, what kind of, just a collared shirt? Hmm, we need to look that up. I need to see what George Jones, like, I'm, I know I got his albums in here. He was like a very smooth dresser. Like he's really known for dressing like a like a badass. So, um, I just sent you. Shirt. I just sent you that microphone. Um, oh, yeah, like a couple buttons unbuttoned. All right, you know, just like a player. You want his necklace, his chain? Fuck yeah! You should put on the chain. You should put. Uh, Is there anything actually on his chain? No, no, I don't no, know what's on it. You should put a a George Jones, not George Jones, but G J. G J. Okay. G J. We can do that. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be gangster. Can do that. Definitely. I want us to be the most badass possum that anybody has ever seen. Hey, it's going to be something no one's. I wonder seen. how many people have a possum tattoo. Not George Jones, just a possum tattoo. Google it. Have you ever po- like, yeah, I've Let's look that up. Google it. I've never tattooed possum, possum tattoos. You've never tattooed a possum? No, I haven't. Oh no, there are, but this actual <laughs> fucking possum, and there's a lot of them. Aren't they called trash pandas? <laughs> yeah, I forgot that people call them trash I pandas. I have heard that phrase so much in the last month. So I went and stayed at my brother and sister-in-law's house in Truckee. And I just threw a bunch of shit together in their cupboards and just put together a dinner instead of going to the store because I didn't want to go to the store. Mm-hmm. Well, they asked me what I made for dinner and I sent them a picture and they're all, did you literally just scrounge through our cupboards and you just made up a meal? And I said, yeah, it was the easiest way. Your food's going to go bad anyways. She called me a trash panda for scrounging <laughs> up everything in the cupboards and making dinner. I'm wrong. Possums are not trash pandas. That's raccoons. That is raccoons. That's raccoons. Possums are just pieces of shit. Yes, but then the day after, or no, a couple days after she called me a trash panda, I tattooed a panda bear on a girl's butt cheek. (laughs) And I so badly wanted to just put like a bag of trash inside the panda's hands because that's all I could think of. That's funny. Uh, I'm looking up George. Yeah, see, everybody goes to like that iconic George Jones tattoo. Wow, that is that is not good. That no, that's terrible. That is that is not good at all. Luke Bryan with a Browning, him and Jason Aldean. Uh, yeah, nobody's done a possum for George. Yeah, see, oh, look. Right there, what did I say? Look how fucking cool that is. You see that? Oh, you were. You were right. I was right. Did you know he had that? No, I was? didn't. I had no idea he had a chain that had a is it JG. A diamond? Oh, it's like a twisted, oh, a twisted chain. That's a good call. Yeah, like I'm going to send that to you. Yeah. Yeah. That's badass. I like that one. Hell yeah. Let's send that to you. Oh, that's cool. That'll be like something that uh, saved a photo. Now Georgette, when I always send this to her, she'll be like, how did you know about that necklace? And I'll be like, oh, I really, really like your dad. Uh, <laughs> You're pretty <laughs> like, much stalking I'm, his yeah, pictures. I'm a fucking historian of your dad here now. Uh, that's why, you know, you should let me do the group show with you. Yeah, that's a good one. I like well, that one. Yeah, that's fucking awesome. Um, yeah. We should do that. And then, like, the shirt unbuttoned like that. That's mm-hmm. gangster. Yeah, I really like that. Um, let's go. Let me send. Cool. The whole process, by the way, um, I have found out since Friday that if you're getting a tattoo and you have a cool-ass tattoo artist like Mary, <laughs> don't be scared to throw out stupid-ass ideas because um, they're going to take your idea and they're going to turn it into art. Uh, because my original idea with this and her original idea with this were two completely different ideas, but I didn't describe it very well. I was going to look like I had a Disney character on my arm. Oh, you, he asked for cartoon, so I did cartoon, and then it was too cartoony for you, and you made me change it. It was Disney. Flew all the way out here to tattoo you, and you made me change my drawing. I'm a piece of shit. That's I cool. don't know what to tell you. Uh yeah, but thank right. you for being a good sport about it and not being like, fuck you, put take me back to the airport. <laughs> I was kind of expecting that at this point. Uh, so what we're going to do is, uh, since y'all got some information on her now, and you got, obviously, information on me, you know what we're fixing to get tattooed. Uh, I'm going to pause it. We're going to get set up for the show, and then you guys are actually going to listen to me get some of this tattoo and we'll probably pause it in the middle or whatever. We'll do some line work and then pause, shading, whatever. 
and uh, take a little bit of a break and all that good shit. So, uh, yeah. Um, I know I'm going to say it a hundred times over, but I really do appreciate you coming out and, uh, and doing this. And I hope you're having fun. I am. Um, hope we're not overworking you. No. I, don't, no, I slept more than I worked, so I'm okay. <laughs> okay, cool. As long as it was like a mini vacay. It uh, was definitely a mini vacay. So I'm absolutely serious about coming down. If I get appointments to book up a weekend, I would love to fly out more. We're going to make that happen. We're definitely going to make that happen. Um, but yeah, so cool. Uh, it's going to sound like a millisecond to y'all when I hit pause, but it's going to be a while. So be right back. Testing one, two, three. Okay, we're back. Yeah, that's it. That works perfect. And then hit record. There we go. See? All right. So after much debate, folks, we finally have the tattoo ready. And it's been like probably two and a half, three hours. It's not debate. You just kept adding to it. Well, I wanted it to be weird. It's for sure weird. It's for sure weird. But no one will have this. And I love it. This is yeah. really cool. Oh. See, this is where like I was confused yesterday of how to do the show. Because I was like, you know what? We're not going to talk much. We can talk. You were just... I was being a little quiet, baby. You were very quiet because you were concentrating on what I was doing. Yeah, I don't know why. Like, I know what the fuck's going on. Like, I just know that it's supposed <laughs> to look good when it gets done. I think it was more of an excitement. You look like a little kid. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Reagan, you can get close to that mic right there. You can put your two sits in, too. <laughs> You might as well, fucker. I mean, I mean, you're you're here. I mean, you don't you don't that have to. On? Yeah, that one's all on right there. Because I didn't think about actually, if you will, since you're just you know the best person ever, uh, will you move this mic and mic stand kind of in between me and her so we can share this one, and then you can jump on that one over there and it works out perfect. There you go. If you'll put that, just make sure you don't bump her elbow. Because last time we wanted this possum being, yeah. yeah, get a little bit closer to me. There we go, bingo. Now it'll pick up both of us. And it probably picks up the tattoo needle too. It shouldn't, it's not too loud. How bad am I, uh, you think I'm going to bleed bad? Yeah. Because of all After the drinking. After how much you made me drink last night, yeah. First off, I didn't make you do anything. <laughs> yeah, was, there was, you were willing. And Reagan, thank you for driving us last night, man. Yes, thank you. Um, even though the drive home was a blur, I appreciate it. Yeah, that was probably the longest hour of your life. You kept asking oh, me how long, how much what, longer did we I? Had. <laughs> yeah, you looked at me and. Well, you're, you can move it towards you. Oh, I thought it was. Is that close enough? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, you kept looking at me with those eyes, and I was like, <laughs> "You need me to pull over or no?" Because I will pull over. I was having a good time. You yeah, were. you were you were in the front seat, but you were in the back seat. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'd be trying to do that sometimes. Yeah. I'd be having fun. I mean, if you're going to get drunk and you got a DD, you need to take advantage of it. That's true. You do. <laughs> I'm, I'm, glad you did, I'm glad you didn't drive home. Yeah, me too. I had a great time, and I felt great today. Um, got up, went to church. <laughs> you went to church? Yeah, I went to church this morning. I feel like I went to church on the way home last night. <laughs> I feel like I went to a funeral. <laughs> <laughs> to a funeral. I was, you had me in my feelings hard. I was crying. Why? You were? I oh, went home. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, Why was you crying? I didn't even notice that. I was just in my feelings. Some right. of the songs you're, I mean, it's just. Because you play depressing stuff. Because that's music. All the time. Yeah, I mean, I'll cry at anything, so it's not, it's not hard, but I was definitely in the feels. I don't even know what all I play. I remember playing my paycheck song that I love. So I know. Much. I'll tell you what you played because I took pictures. Well, I whatever saw, you played, you didn't play the full song. I saw you uh, taking pictures, and I was like, "What the fuck is she doing?" Because I, I knew, was like, I I knew we you... would have this conversation. You'd be like, I, "What did I play for you last night?" Yeah, the outlaws mm -hmm. prayer, of course. Oh God, we I always love that. hit it off. The, hit off the night stronger that one, and then drift off to dream. Oh, uh, that's my wedding song. Yep. I'm never gonna get fucking married to. And then what I what I <laughs> this is the one that made me cry. The you what I'd say. The what? What I'd say. Oh, Earl Thomas Conley. Why did that make me cry? I don't know. I don't know. It was supposed you were like, this is a, a good like Fuck you song. That's yeah. what that song is. And I was like <laughs> That song is like literally made for when you run into that ex and you just don't know what you're gonna say. What I was I'd like, say. Man. 
That was that, that hurted. Guys played last night. Um, I feel then like I'm from where I'm sitting, already. from where I'm sitting, it's I know just, where I stand. It's orange. It's just really light right now. Play some Gary Allen. More. Oh yeah, I was getting fucked up. Yeah, from where I'm sitting, I know where I stand. Oh boy, I've been on kick with that bitch lately. Yeah, that was a that's a goodie for sure. I tell you what, one, uh, Gary Allen's got one though. And uh, shout out, by the way, to Riley Anderson, who's going to be opening up for Gary Allen in a couple of weeks. What is it, April 1st? April 1st in Dothan, Alabama. Yeah, we're going to that. Get your tickets. Yeah, we'll be there for my guy. Um, I've been playing, he's got a song, I don't know if you ever heard it, it's called A Day. I'll take, the lyrics are, I'll take today over yesterday any day. And he's talking about how he ran, he ran into uh, one of his exes. And like he realized when he ran into him. Like his new situation, how he used to be so fucked up and broke up, like broken hearted about it. And then he's looking at his like new person and he tells her like, uh, yeah, I used to love her. And that's a fact. But I'll take today over yesterday, any day. And it's a fucking banger. Oh yeah. my God. I'm so, it's so excited good. for that concert. Yeah, Gary won't be playing that one. I think that came out like in fucking 93. No, I'm just saying I'm excited for oh, the concert. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. Very proud of Riley. He's got to open up for Tracy Lawrence and now Gary and yeah. He's opened up for Gary a couple of times, hasn't he? He's opened up for uh, Tracy Lawrence a couple of times. I think this is the first time he's opened up for Gary. I think what threw me off was because Gary was in Macon not too long ago. Yeah. But Riley didn't open for him then. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we missed that somehow. That'll be great. He said him and Brittany said we're gonna go to they're gonna take us out the Cowboys and, and open. Yeah. That'll be fun. I ever told you about the uh, the super racist guy in Dothan? <laughs> There's I, probably a few. <laughs> uh, no, no. We used to go to this music festival in Dothan, Alabama, and it was called um, Pe uh, no, Toad Lick Music Festival. That's what it was called. We went like three or four years strong. Um, I think every time I tell this story, like the years we went gets longer too. I know we went two years, but it might have been more than that. But like anyway. Ten years <laughs> Yeah. But there used to be this guy there named Jeff Golden, and he owned a place called Buck Wild Saloon. And this guy does imitations. Full-blown honky. Full-blown white dude. And he would get up there, and he would do, like, fuck, anybody from Ray Charles to Elvis to Bruno Mars to whoever. Um, and he they was actually pretty good. But the weird thing was he would do, like, costume changes. Like, every three songs. Like, the dude took himself way too serious. And, like, one year that we were there, we had, like, some musicians with us. And, like, we go up to him, because after the first time we saw him, the first year we were there, we're like, this is a staple. Like, we have to go see him every time we're here. Like, this is better than fucking seeing the, the concert series. Like, the actual music festival. And the dude was like, oh, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll think about it. But, uh, dude... Come to find out, he bought the bar so he could play because nobody else would let him play anywhere. So he's the only person who lets perform there. But so we started looking up um, some of his stuff, like some of his music and everything. And dude, let me tell you, if you were to look him up on YouTube right now, he used to do blackface. He used to do all kind of stuff. And it is the funniest, most racist shit you've ever seen. <laughs> like you don't feel comfortable laughing at it. Is that why he couldn't play anywhere? Probably. And this is Alabama. Like, you would think, like, Alabama of all states, them and Mississippi are probably the most accepting to shit like that. And they, even they're like, not a chance in hell you're playing another bar here again. <laughs> Never well, fucking ever. To get his own and play his own music well, I, he didn't have a chance, a choice. In the end, the dude was pushing his CDs, and we got one. And I was so hungover on the way home, and everybody was so miserable. There's like six <laughs> people on the way home with us. That I made everybody listen to his CD on the way home, and it's the worst. Welcome to Breeze Line, where the sky's the limit thanks to better internet. With lightning fast speeds up to one gig, you can game like a boss, stream like a pro, and watch like there's no tomorrow. Stream, watch, post, send, and trend. Do it all with our fiber powered network, bringing you reliable, fast internet. Welcome to Breeze Line. Visit breezeline.com for latest offers. Service subject to availability. New customers in select areas only. Visit breezeline.com for details. 
shit you've ever heard in your life. Like, it's bad. Okay, well, then that's why they won't let them play anywhere. Yeah, it's, it's bad yeah. and racist. It, it's know like, all about some bad music. It's funny. <laughs> I like it. It makes me laugh. Yeah. I like to do stuff that makes everybody else uncomfortable. <laughs> so that you're comfortable and you're having a good time? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, if you just saw Gracie's face when she saw... Uh, my new tattoo. Gracie's not a fan. It wasn't. She didn't. Her huh? face wasn't that bad. So she's seen it in person now. Yeah, yeah. We. I, she went to lunch with us today. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um. And Gracie's like, she, it's not that she hates the tattoo. She thinks it looks good. She doesn't like that it's on my forearm. She doesn't like the hair. Yeah, she does not like the hair at all. <laughs> That's my she, favorite part. Yeah. See. <laughs> That's my I'm favorite trying, part. I, like the people that I know, they get it. The people that, but it's not the tattoo is not made for people who don't know who Keith Whitley is. <laughs> Yeah, the curly hair just does it. Yeah, yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's funny. It's the curly hair for me. I bet it is. <laughs> <laughs> Shots fired. Mm. Uh, that can be taken in several different contexts. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the short and curlies for me. <laughs> oh man, and if Gracie was mad about. I already sent Gracie like a picture of this one. If Gracie was mad about the uh, the bird with the hair, she's gonna be real pissed about the possum with the teardrop. I was about and to say, what cut. is she? <laughs> I was about to say, what is she gonna think about the she's, possum? She's not gonna be happy. Did you send her the stencil? Uh, yeah, I sent her the stencil. Has she responded? Yeah, with a tear. <laughs> she sent me back the uh, the like the the little whatever the smiley face emojis or whatever, but it was the sad face with a tear. Yeah, she was not happy. But it's not her arm. This is true. To everybody that knows me, they're gonna, because uh, I don't want anything like anybody else has got. This is definitely no yeah. one is gonna have this, and this is why I appreciate and, it. Yeah. It's and by the way, and by the way, everybody that's listening to this, look up George Jones tattoos. <laughs> we did a while ago. <laughs> yeah. Everybody oh, did. Like, there's that one iconic picture of him. Everybody did it. Yeah. Like. Nobody did anything outside the box. And then while we're looking it up, which was, by the way, I want to say thank you to Georgette Jones. Uh, so I've had the pleasure of having her on the show. And I wanted to make sure that this was respectful first. Like, that he would have liked it. So I messaged Georgette. And I was like, I want to make sure, before anything, that George didn't think it was disrespectful being called the possum. And she texted me back, like, right away. And was like, no, he embraced it. Like, he, he, he embraced it. Like, and then I forgot, but he even had a bar at one point in time called Possum Holler. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so, 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 like, fun. that was good. So, like, she, so he, she, he embraced it. I wanted her that. approval first. That's, I'm so, proud of you for so that. that. Well, I mean, he's my, him and Whitley are my favorites. And I knew that the Kentucky Bluebird, like, nobody would bitch about it. Yeah. Right, no, this one's a little weird. bit different. A little <laughs> bit different. Um, but so I wanted to make sure it's fine, and then with the no show part of the tattoo, I wanted to make sure that that would have been cool with her too. And she said, "Yeah, when uh, pretty much I'm not gonna say all of it because I don't want to say some of the shit she said." <laughs> but uh, early on, he didn't like it because some people like used him for it yeah. and took advantage of him for it. But by the end of his life or whatever. That uh, like his cars and everything was like no show one, no show two, etc. Like shit like that. So, and uh, she even said like on his 80th birthday it was a possum, like for his cake. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's cute. So, I thought you know that'll be cool. So at least it, I think he would appreciate it. And I like we kept adding shit to it. So you guys are gonna have to go look at Instagram and look up. Uh, which y'all, you've already dropped your stuff anyway. I keep thinking this is two shows, but we're parting them together, piecing them together. But yeah. well, you'll have to look up her Instagram and mine to actually see it when it's done. Uh, but so, like, we added a couple, like, subtle things. Um, <laughs> like, if you look on a the... Couple. Yeah, a lot. Uh, so, like, first off, the glasses. George always had the glasses on. Uh, the no-show neon underneath. Uh, he's got a... Necklace uh, on that's got the the GJ that we found in one of the pictures. That's just a badass pimp necklace. Um, but 
uh, one of the songs that he had that was like super big is called Golden Rings or Golden Bands. I can't remember which one right now. I'm fucking thinking. But so on his uh, wedding finger, we put a golden ring, golden band. Uh, just like a little pay homage to that song with him and Tammy. Um, so there's some subtle, subtle things. And then the bob, the hair. It's, it's the hair on both. The hair kills me on both of them. That's my fave. Yeah, I want it to stand out. It's definitely going to stand out. I should have definitely drank more. No, you're already bleeding a lot. Emma? You drank enough last night. Yeah. It's definitely still running through your veins today. <laughs> Probably always is, to be honest <laughs> with you. Oh, speaking of that, uh, Reagan. While you're here, I want you to drop your uh, your socials for your um, your uh, all the stuff you do with weight loss because you guys don't know this. It'll be the first time I announce this. When I come back from Nashville, me and Jesse Wayne Taylor ha are in an agreement that I'm doing six weeks sober uh, leading up to the Creative Vets Golf Tournament. Um, Jesse's working with me on learning how to play the guitar and write some songs and stuff and have some fun with him. And uh, since I'm already going to have to do six weeks sober and take guitar lessons from him. Oh, God, that looks so cool. Oh, that looks so cool. Um, I decided since Reagan has her weight loss stuff, we are going to do six weeks together starting when we get back or the Monday when we get the following Monday when we get back. And it's going to be where she helps me with my meal plans or eating for the week. We're going to exercise together. For six whole weeks before and after. So you guys, uh, if you want, what you can do is go ahead and hit Reagan up. And you can do the same plan as I do for the next six weeks. And we can just follow each other's progress or whatever. Y'all can hold me accountable. I'll hold you accountable. And, you know, uh, Reagan, this is what she does for a living. So, you know, she already goes everywhere with us. She's a badass at what she does. Look at her before and after pictures. Um, just don't try to get stuck on stuck on them. I'd be screenshotting the shit out of them sometime for personal use. Uh, <laughs> just playing. <laughs> just playing. Uh, but anyway, you should hit her up for that. But Reagan, drop your stuff so they know who to look up. Yeah, well, I'm excited. Um, first of all, the whole sober six weeks for you. and I'm um, miserable about that. Yes, I'm. I'm, pr way, I'm proud and excited. Yeah, it's the only way I was going to get guitar lessons for free. Well, I love that. I love that he did that um, stipulation for you. And then thanks for letting me train you during that time. That's going to be a that's going to be a fun time. Yeah, you're going to hate me. I know you're. I know you're excited. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so um, my Instagram is Reagan R A E G A N underscore Fit F I T. I help people put on weight. I help people lose weight. Um, you know, if you want to gain some muscle, I can do that. If you want to just lose some body fat, I can help you there too. I'll tell you what to eat, and I will tell you what to do in the gym or at home. So, yeah, hit so, me up. So, what, like, are we going to do? Because I'm not trying to gain muscle. Like, I'm just trying to, like, slim. Yeah, you're... Yeah, yeah. I'm not... Because lifting weights is bad as my shoulder and my knees are. Like, I'm not trying to, like, pump up. Yeah, so I think that's kind of a misconception too, Josh. Just because you lift some weight doesn't mean you're about to be Hulk or something. So we will do some strength training, but we're not gonna we're gonna focus more on fat loss. So we'll do a good hour workout every day. And that'll <laughs> you say an hour? Yeah, but that'll include like I thought like those we'll old do... videos and shit. You got like buns of steel if you just worked out like ten minutes a day. <laughs> Yeah, that would be cool. You can maybe go have surgery, but even surgery is going to take longer than 10 minutes. So we'll do some strength training and do some, some good walks outside or some treadmill stuff. If, if the weather's good, I, I would like for us to just do stuff like we could walk outside. But we'll start out a little, you know, I'm not going to kill you where you can't finish the six weeks. So. I think, you know what, you're going to be super surprised. I used to be so athletic back in the day. I still got a little bit in me, like 10% of it. I used to be such a good athlete. Well, your arms, you I've always told you that you look like you work out. And it's so frustrating because... You ought to see my legs. <laughs> <I wear> <laughs> you ever see my calves? 
I yeah, you look you look athletic. You do. Besides for my gut. My tu- always, my tummy is like it's it's, it's, a, little, it's a little big. Well, you drink a lot of alcohol, and that I'm is not gut health that. friendly. I'm a big fan of that. But I've always yeah, I always told you that. So it'll be really easy workouts as far as they'll be simple. Well, that'll be cool. I'm gonna very much enjoy it. Yeah, you're gonna have no, a great I'm not. time. <laughs> I'm not. Well, you get to spend an hour with me every day, so I mean that will be enlightening in itself. It's gonna be a great time. Yeah, and it'll be great to actually have like a gym partner. Yeah. It'll be fun because usually all my clients are online, so. Yeah, tell them about person. tell them about that because I, I know that you do both. Like you can do yeah. in person and online with you. Yeah, so I do offer um, in person if you're local. I'm happy to help you or meet up with you, and you know as you get started. Typically, I work with people online. And that way they have access to an app that will show you every single thing you need to do every day. And you have access to me 24 seven and you also get the nutrition guidance, which is, you know, typically if you go to a gym and you pay a personal trainer, you're not getting that nutrition. And that's, that piece is almost, if not more important than the actual training. So, um, well, let me tell you, I don't know what spot she just hit on the inside of my fucking <laughs> You're arm. You're feeling it? Whoa, son of a bitch. You're feeling it's it. It looks so good already. I don't realize what a bitch I am until like stuff like this. <laughs> I don't have a pain tolerance at all. It right? is surprising that you like love the pain of tattoos because you are a wimp, respectfully. I am a wimp. I know I'm a big old bitch. Trust me. Yeah, like you don't want to touch a dead fish. You could. I would love to see you around. And I don't want to touch a dead fish. The way you talk, you just don't. The outdoorsy stuff, you're just not. <laughs> I just wasn't raised around it. I know it's okay. I'm not. It's just fun. I'm not scared of a dead That's fish. Sweet. I asked him if he would take me to see a gator today. He said no. He'll yeah, he's not. He looks like a burly boy, like a burly outdoorsy hunting fisher gather. Thanks. He's not. Both of you are being <laughs> super cop blockish right now to anybody that's listening. Thank you. But no, everybody but knows that they're not. I'm not taking them to shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> fucking I'm about to say, well, they don't know you well enough. I'm not that's doing funny. anything that I might get ate. Yeah. You said they don't eat you. They're too small. I, yeah, so you were going to send me in there, and you said they were not going to eat me. I said that the ones in Georgia are too small. You're not going to find a lot of big-ass gators here. I just want to You go to Florida, them. you're going to find some. You, I mean, there's some go here the that Everglades. are monsters. Yeah. But also, you can't just go to the fucking river and just be like, oh, we're going to see a gator today. Not here. You go to Florida. I would love and fucking, to see you see a gator just out I've and seen. I've been in the I river kayaking know, and I seen just, them. They don't mess with you if you don't mess with them. I know, but I just, I just know how you are. Everybody knows I've kayaked in sewage water. Yeah. This happened. <laughs> I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, I guess you did. He that, told me that story today. Yeah. Actually, you know who brought it up? Gracie, because she's a bitch. <laughs> Gracie decided, hey, we're more, I want this lady that I just met today that flew all the way from California here to hang out with Dad and tattoo him to know that my dad has swum, swam in 100 million gallons or whatever it was, well, a million gallons did, of shit that water. That was a good story. Oh, that's a great... I totally forgot. I'm glad we had this talk. Oh, fuck it, I'll I, tell... I totally just, forgot There's about probably it. some listener that hasn't heard it, so I'll fucking tell them. <laughs> tell them. So, several years ago when I lived in Macon, I used to like to kayak because it ripped, like the river and the land and everything. Oh, shit, right there. woo That's a sensitive little spot you right at. Uh, anyway, so several years ago I lived in Macon. I used to like to kayak for fun and uh, exercise and all that shit. And... Uh, one day I was kayaking and I was on Facebook Live and I was splashing water on my face, having a merry old time. I, I would do it all the time, just, you know, just talking my shit. And next thing you know, I get off of uh, Facebook Live and my phone blows up as I'm loading my kayak up into the truck and people are tagging me in this article from Channel 13 and it was where millions of gallons of sewage water had got dumped into the river that I was just fucking in. And it was like telling everybody to stay out of Amerson Landing in the river and all this kind of stuff. And literally, people were screenshotting the time of the sewage leakage and where I was splashing water on my face in my live, because you could go back and watch the lives. And they were like, Josh, you were literally throwing shit and piss on your face. Like, literally. Like, I'm sitting there like, this is so refreshing. And it's like, that's dookie water. 
My friends got a real good joke out of that. It was that was a lot for a, a couple of days. Um, but anyway, so uh, what we're gonna do? We did uh, just a little bit longer, and uh, and since she's in a sensitive spot right this second, we're gonna take another break and come back when she gets almost done, and we'll talk a little bit more about it. So Reagan, what I need you to do is walk around here and hit the stop button with the mouse and then the same button that you hit on the camera hit it again so we'll be back you know how to move a mouse <laughs> okay so i'm dying uh <laughs> you guys heard milliseconds away from us but uh literally it's been i don't know what time do we start this Okay, so this is like what? How long? Yeah, what time is it? It's 10.45. Probably like 8.30. 8.30? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fucking dying. <laughs> uh, this is, if y'all haven't known, this is like on the inside of my elbow. And uh, holy shit. You're doing good. I'm dying. But you did back to back days. It takes a lot. Yeah, I'm badass. I'm a cowboy. <laughs> I didn't say that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 camera. It should be on camera. Hold on. We're technical difficulties. It'll be okay. I don't care. <laughs> and it should... Hey, look. Flip your thing back around. Yeah, turn that up. There you go. Now you can see. All right. Make sure you got me. The star. And then her. <laughs> <Star>. <laughs> All right. Can you see both of us? All right. Now hit record. There you go. Bingo. Bingo. Now you get back over to the mic, too. There you go. Or watch sure that. Hit a couple spots, make you jump please don't. Areas. God damn, please don't. Um, uh, she has done an amazing job. I can't wait for you guys to see this shit when it's done. Um, uh, just that noise even now. Uh, it looks so good. Thank you. I very much appreciate it. Uh, I'm done. Well, you're doing good. Thank you. You're doing you good. To utilize my time. Holy shit! There we go. She just went, she's going back to the first thing she did, the no-show part. And let me tell you, uh, that part had just decided. to feel good. <laughs> well, I just didn't feel it. And now I just re was reminded it was there. It's there. Oh, no, it's definitely there. It's definitely there. So we, uh, since y'all can't hear the conversations that were had when, you know, wasn't fucking recording, uh, we've agreed that she's definitely going to come back and finish it. I'm not going to let anybody else do this sleeve besides her. Uh, so next time she comes, we're going to set up appointments so she can make yeah. some money while she's here. And you guys need to reach out to her. So one more time, tell them your uh, social media handles. It's Instagram is Buckaroo Tattoo, B-U-C-K-A-R-O-O-T-A-T, -O -O and the number two. And my TikTok is Mama Tattooer. And then I also have a Facebook, which is Buckaroo Tattoo spelt out. But the best way to get a hold of me is on Instagram. Yeah. But uh, I'm literally going to let my arm heal for a while. Because <laughs> uh, I remember now why I don't do this fucking all the time. There's no way I could have done my whole arm. I don't even know how I even thought that was going to be fucking possible. What are, you, are you planning on doing your whole arm? No, no, no. I, did, I didn't. I was just like, I wanted to do as much as possible. I think I think we did. I, I, I think we did a good job. Yeah, but like. Yeah, you're doing a great job sitting there. Yeah, just yeah, you're doing a great job. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Yeah, I'm proud of you. <laughs> putting up with me. Yeah, that my is a task. The what? So my back's gonna be broken when I'm done. Your back's gonna be broken. I'm gonna be fucking having to give up an arm. I don't care about your arm. Obviously. What about her back? <laughs> <laughs> fucking ripping the skin off as we speak. I'm making it beautiful. No, you are making it beautiful. It looks fucking amazing. Well, actually, I'm... Now, who else can fucking <laughs> turn a possum into this? Y'all, I cannot wait for y'all to fucking see it. Well, this was your vision, and this is actually a really cool idea. Well, and the, uh, I don't know if I've told Reagan. So, these are like the two big pieces of it. And then there's going to be like a kind of a, I wouldn't say big... Like on the back side of my arm, I want like a bigger one for Johnny Paycheck too. Yeah, you've told uh, and me. I finally, You're just intoxicated yeah, every yeah. time. We and talk I finally, about it. I finally figured out what I want the paycheck one to be a while ago, uh, or earlier when it was just me and her in here. You'll change it ten more times. Uh, probably, 
But he's got the song Old Violin. Yeah. And then he's got that song I love so much, Outlaw's Prayer. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine the two. I'm going to do a stained glass window, but with an old violin inside the stained glass window. And be awesome. Yeah. So like that'll be, so good. that'll be on the back side of my arm. And then the rest of my arm, uh, I'm going to put like stuff that you would have to know the song. So like one of the things, one of the songs I really love is Clay Walker's song. It's uh, Where Do I Fit in This Picture? Yeah. So like I want to get a picture frame on there. And then just have like the words where do, I, where do I fit in, like inside the picture frame, and then Merle Haggard has a song. Uh, if heaven was a, a glass of wine, like have a wine glass and heaven like spelled out in wine inside of it or something like that. Uh, like just rocking chair one. Oh, which rocking chair one? Yeah, oh, drift rock. off the dream. And the rock. Yeah. And the rock. Yeah, the rock one's gonna be hard. That's that's my granddaddy's song uh, that I've got to play for him at the funeral. Um, cause that's the one we were going to do tonight, but, uh, I wanted it on my wrist. I wanted like a rock on my wrist and then I wanted, it's hard to live up to the rock yeah. inside of it. But then I was like, everybody's going to be like Dwayne, the rock Johnson. Why is <laughs> like, I, I, I want to come up with a better, something better than that. Cause it's, uh, yeah, I, I want, that one's going to mean a lot. I just don't, I don't know exactly. And there was a couple more. Talk Me Out of Tampa is one of my favorite songs ever. And I wanted there to be a Tampa like road sign and with Tampa in the middle with like a directional arrow that yeah. way and then talk me out of above it. Yeah. Like do just like a green, like yeah. a generic like yeah. green like, sign. Yeah. yeah. That'll look cool. Um, All the what, colors. What was the other so one? Good. Oh, yeah, yeah. The other one that was going to be, you would have had to know the song too, but uh, politics, religion, and her. Of course. I was going to do right here the words politics, religion, and her like stacked on top of each other and then the circle with the X through the middle. For yeah. don't talk yeah, about don't politics, talk about religion, religion, or her. her. Yeah. yeah. So there, there's talk a... about NASCAR, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that, That's a that, good... I like that one. Yeah, so... And there was They're like... All good. Yeah. We'll make a good sleeve. Yeah. I'm so proud of your thinking skills for Yeah, I wanted, I wanted task, something... Josh. I wanted something that nobody else fucking will ever have. And so I pick... And it's so hard to ever pick, like, your favorite song, anyway. And there was no way I could pick a favorite George Jones song or a favorite Keith Whitley song. Or even a favorite Johnny Paycheck song. So that's why I like doing the bigger ones with my all-time faves. Yeah. It's going to look great. And all the color looks amazing. Oh, yeah. I've never been a guy who liked color tattoos. Yeah, that's how I've, until, I've until now. Way. And now I'm sold on them. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. But everything right now looks blood red because I'm, <laughs> I'm bleeding like a fucking stuck pig. Yeah. You are. It calmed down a little bit. That looks so fucking cool. Uh, but anyway, um, what time are we at? Oh, there we go. We're good on time. Uh, I'm just dying. Yeah, you're ready for me to be done. No, I want you to just, I want you to, where I've done it this long, you fucking killing it. I'll live. You, you will make it through. Uh, I promise you, there ain't no bitch in this blood because all the blood's on the table. Um, yeah, there's no, there's yeah no I don't have, in here. I don't have any blood left in me. <laughs> When I tell you I am sensitive right now, I am a sensitive Sally. Oh. You don't have to convince me of that. I'm proud of you, though. You've done good. You've had two back-to-back -back days of this. Yeah. She's done amazing. Oh, fuck yeah. Has she? Looks She's amazing. putting up with you and putting up with coming to Georgia. Just the whole trip. I'm just, like, I'm glad that... I'm glad yeah. she didn't die drinking with us. I did not die. Drinking with you. Holy <laughs> shit. Boy, there's a nerve right fucking there or something. Good Lord, Jesus Christ. God, please forgive me. Took your name in vain. Very sorry. But my God. Yeah, she did great last night. Yeah. She was... You did great driving us. Yeah, off. we very much appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. Anytime. I had a great time. You always do, though. You're always just the funnest person ever. <laughs> it was definitely fun. I just uh, have a good time. And if anybody's listening to this, it's going to be in Nashville, March the 15th. Uh, we have a great lineup for you guys uh, at Live Oak for um, the Josh Terry podcast. Uh, let me pull my phone out so I can just fucking read all the names off yeah, to there's you. There's a lot on there. I'm excited to see your guys' posts on that trip. Uh, they're going to be wild. Gonna be You'll it's have to be... plan to come. That yeah, absolutely. Cool. We can plan you... a, a month when you go. Or when we go and have her come too and do the same thing yeah, there. Yeah, fuck that'd yeah. Be fun. Yeah. That'd be awesome. That would be cool. That would be a lot of fun. 
God, we got to get you, we'll get you to draw a dick on uh, <laughs> Lee Tucker somehow. <laughs> that would be my God. That'd make my life. Uh, anyway, line up for our guest host, Miss Tawny Jade, TikTok Mama Seven. Go look her up. Y'all got to know who she is. She's the coolest motherfucker. Uh, Sarah Blake Cheek, Macy uh, Damaris, and uh, Miss Alyssa Hale. And then our performers from start to finish are Noah Gardner, Carter Cross. Carter, get more social media so I can fucking tag you in it. It's really annoying that I can't tag you in anything. Carter has no social media. He just, you know, he said last Saturday that he's going to start doing better, but yeah, we got to call him out to. on that because he hasn't been posting anything. I know, he has to. Um, Riley Anderson, David McMahon, Jesse Wayne Taylor. Jesse Wayne Taylor is the guy that I'm doing the uh, six weeks sober with and giving me guitar lessons. He's also with Creative Vets. He's their lead writer and everything. Uh, and uh, helps veterans day in and day out. So thank you for everything Jesse Wayne Taylor does. Uh, Lee Tucker's bitch ass. Uh, Miss Shelby Ray, who's a fucking beast. Uh, Montana Mess. I love those guys. They're so much fun. I was talking shit to them on uh, Instagram earlier. Mark Orient, the worst dressed person alive. Uh, Sadie Bass. So you said, uh, I, I just thought she was just really fucking good and a badass, but she was on The Voice. Is yeah, that what you were telling what, me earlier? Yeah, yeah that's what I've yeah, seen. On, she was all on media. Trey's show uh, here recently. She's fucking awesome. Josh Kaiser, who's a beast. And we'll be ending out the show with Trent Tomlinson. One wing in the fire. He's just, uh, I cannot believe he's going to be on the show. And uh, I want to thank Hayson Lott for allowing us to do it there again at Live Oak. And uh, Mr. Ike Everard, I can't, is that how you say his name? It's E-V-E-R-A-R-D. Yeah. Okay. Sure. He's going to be taking pictures and videos and stuff for us. Uh, you can find his name and everything on the yeah, flyer. He's amazing. Yeah, he fucking does amazing work. Thank you, buddy. Uh, I'm glad to have you a part of it. Plus, we're going to have more guests uh, stop by and hang out. I'm sure there'll be some more folks y'all know. It's just going to be a really good time. Um, so you make sure March the 15th from 2 to 6 o'clock at Live Oak. Y'all come hang out with us. But we'll be there from Sunday. To uh to Thursday morning. Sunday night we'll be doing a show with Saving Abel. And then uh on Tuesday we'll be doing a show with TikTok Mama Seven. And like I said, if y'all don't know who it is, uh I don't know really what she goes by. Like she gives her name out, so I'm not gonna give her name out, but you guys go look her up by her handle and uh you'll see. She's like fifty years old. She's she's got some I don't know. She's a thug. She's a badass. She's the coolest fucker I've seen on TikTok damn near. Uh, she's got I, some good dance moves. Oh, boy, can she dance? She's a badass. Um, I'm glad to have her on the show. It's going to be a good time. So, guys, go check her out. And uh, most of all, thank you to Buckaroo Tattoo and Miss Mary. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah, this is fucking awesome. I'm still over she the... She's putting in the work. Yeah. yeah My she, pleasure. I'm glad I got to come. I'm glad you got to. I know you talked about it a while ago and just never did it. Yeah, so I know. I know you're tired of us. Are, are tired of me anyway? No. Oh my god, that looks so fucking good. Well, anyway, folks, uh, we're gonna get off here now. So uh, one more time, won't you drop your social media stuff? Then Reagan, you drop yours, and then I need you come hit the stoppy button. Okay. So, uh, Ra Reagan, drop yours first because okay. she's concentrating um. real hard right now. <laughs> uh, Reagan, R A E G A N underscore fit F I T. Hit me up. Buckaroo Tattoo, B U C K A R O O T A T number two. Okay, folks. And then y'all know who the fuck this is. Uh, Josh Terry. And uh, I love each and every one of y'all. Come out. Please go follow Reagan and Buckaroo Tattoo, Miss Mary. Uh, and book some book some appointments with her and definitely we'll, book appointments because I can set that stuff up ahead of time and then I can actually plan a weekend to come out. Hell yeah. All right, Reagan, were you ready to hit stop? All right, I love you guys. We will see y'all soon. Get ready because Scott's is taking over Daylight Saving Time. It's such a big event that we're calling it Day Long Saving Time. And now it's got real savings. In fact, it's the biggest deals of the year. Audacious? Absolutely. So don't wait. Stock up early and you'll be able to save up to $20 on Scott's Triple Action and Easy Seed products today at the Home Depot and Lowe's. Offers available March 9th through 22nd at select U.S. stores. While supplies last, selection varies by location. See store for exact offers. Welcome to BreezeLine, where the sky's the limit thanks to better internet. With lightning fast speeds up to one gig, you can game like a boss. Stream like a pro. 
and watch like there's no tomorrow. Stream, watch, post, send, and trend. Do it all with our fiber-powered network bringing you reliable, fast internet. Welcome to BreezeLine. Visit BreezeLine.com for latest offers. Service subject to availability. New customers in select areas only. Visit BreezeLine.com for details.